this video is a quick introduction into the confusion matrix if in the machine learning a confusion matrix is a table that is used to evaluate the performance of a machine learning model it shows the number of true positives true negatives false positives and false negatives true positives are the cases where the model correctly predicts a positive class true negatives are the cases where the model correctly predicts a negative class false positive are the cases where the model incorrectly predicts a positive class and the false negatives are the cases where the model incorrectly predicts a negative class in simple terms accuracy tells us how often the model is correct precision tells us how often the model is correct when it predicts positive recall tells us how often the model correctly predicts positive out of all actual positives and f1 score is a balanced measure that takes both precision and recall into account when it comes to evaluating the performance of a machine learning model it's important to keep in mind the specific problem domain and the business or research goals depending on the context of the problem the desired outcomes and the cost of false positives and false negatives different metrics may be more or less important for example in a binary classification problem where the positive class represents a rare event such as detecting fraud or identifying cancer precision may be more important than we call this is because false positives identifying non fraudulent transaction as fraudulent or non cancerous tissues as cancerous for example can have a high cost while false negatives may be more tolerable and the example of false negative could be such as not identifying actual fraud or cancerous tissues on the other hand in a spam email classification problem recall may be more important than precision this is because false negatives not identifying spam emails can be very costly while false positive identifying legitimate emails as spam may be less important in summary when it comes to evaluating the performance of a machine learning model it's important to choose the most appropriate metric based on the specific problem and business or research goals while accuracy precision recall and f1 score are useful performance metrics not all of them are equally important for every problem or use case by carefully considering the context of the problem and the desired outcomes we can build more effective and valuable machine learning models i hope that you found this post useful if you have any feedback please put it on the comment section